Hey everybody, this is Fetter with 3D Print SOS. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna check out the Vox Lab Aquila 3D printer. So let's check it out. All right, let's go over the unboxing experience and the assembly. Uh, so first things first, taking it out of the box, it's mostly put together, uh, specifically the whole bottom frame. You, so you basically have to assemble this entire top and the gantry um, and the hot end assembly. Uh, if you've never assembled a printer before, just take your time, keep everything loose, and then once everything's together, tighten it so that it becomes a little bit more square. Uh, don't forget that these wheels, one of the wheels typically has a nut on it that you can adjust to make them tighter. Don't make them too tight, but keep them from being loose. Um, like I said, take your time and I think you'll assemble this really easily. If you've assembled a 3D printer before, this should be a breeze. You'll put it together in absolutely no time. Okay, so let's go over the elephant in the room. This thing is definitely an Ender 3 Pro V2 clone. However, I'm featuring this because I think that this printer has a couple differences that make this thing amazing. And let me go over them. So the first one and the main one is this screen. And I'll be sure to show uh, some footage of this screen on uh, while you're watching here. But it runs a 1.1.6 Marlin firmware, which is interesting because it is outdated. However, the thing that makes it special is the, the UI. Uh, the colors, the, the white, the red, the grays, they, they really pop. They look really friendly and easy to use. They kept a bunch of the details, a bunch of the menus away from the user and just gave you the stuff that you really need. So getting up and running on this printer should be really easy, fast, and not overwhelming. And I do think, honestly, out of three years of printing, seven or so printers in use, um, that this interface is some of the best I've seen on a printer. Uh, I have a two trees display here that's also a color display that's touch screen. This one is not, but, and it's really nice uh, to have color, to have the pretty icons to click on, but I still think that this particular user interface is among the best. It's so clean and that's what brings value to this printer. No one really wants to go through the old school menus, like for example, on my Ender that you see off the screen here. Um, no one really wants to go through those. and. Uh, the fact that this has a 32-bit board with silent steppers means that it's so lightning fast. As soon as you click, things are there. Unlike my old three-year-old Ender, um, going through those menus can be a pain. It takes sometimes a second, sometimes three seconds to get to certain things, especially when the SD card is in and it has to do some processing. You know, it still prints perfect, but that's definitely a downside there, where it's a huge upside here. Some of the other little changes that I noticed are on the uh, print head here. You have your own little cover, their own cover, Vox Lab uh, branded. Um, and that's really it. They have their own uh, print bed, although the Ender 3 Pro comes with glass as well. Um, this one is really nice. You know, perfect cable management. There's nothing to do on this printer. So getting it out of the box and you can get printing right away. So let's talk about that. Threw in an SD card just to see if there was anything on it and there were some files in there. So I loaded up some filament, I heated it up, I leveled the bed with a piece of paper and I hit print and here are the prints. I'll show them to you on the screen. We have a knob, we have a hook, we have a toolbox and we have this little, uh, I guess uh, a, a test, uh, test some overhang, test some, some uh, circles, squares, triangles with a little point and they all came out amazing. They literally came out amazing. They're sliced perfectly. Um, they didn't peel up on the bed. Uh, when the bed cooled down, they came right off without me touching them pretty much. It's, uh, it, it's really an amazing first experience uh, with this printer. Um, so what did I do? I put in my SD card from my Ender because I have a Benchy uh, sliced on there and I printed it and it was horrible. So there are differences in settings 
uh, of what this printer likes over the old Ender 3 that I have. So what I did was I found out on the SD there is a profile for Cura. I loaded that up, I didn't change a thing. I hit print on a Benchy that I sliced in Cura using their profile and here's the Benchy. It's almost flawless. The only thing that I can see here is there is a visible seam uh, and that needs to be moved to the back instead of being random. That way you can at least control uh, where the seam is and hide it. Uh, you can also get rid of some of these lines uh, that come up on the top here by turning, uh, I believe it's combing and skin off. Uh, and they would literally make this completely flawless. So right out of the box, uh, this thing prints absolutely perfectly. Um, yeah, that's that's really the main things that I wanted to cover. The screen is um, just a delight to use. They make this printer wonderful. Um, you know, the silent steppers are really nice. You can't hear the printer printing. You can hear the fans. You can hear all the, the wind noise from the fans. They don't have a whiny pitch like some of my other printers. They just make air noise. And you can get Noctuas, you can get some other fans uh, to quiet it down dramatically if you really wanted to but i without the steppers making noise this thing is is pretty pretty darn good um other than the old uh non-pro version of the ender i couldn't recommend this anymore the reason why i say the ender 3 uh the old ender 3 is also good because of its price you can get them for around 100 170 dollars however uh, at the time of recording this, this printer is on sale for $180, $179, I believe, on both Amazon and their website, which means, uh, you know, this is an amazing deal. I call the Ender 3 my benchmark printer because after all these years, messing with other printers, different sizes, different styles, when I go back to that printer and I print something on it, it comes out perfect. If I get orders for some things, some of my designs, I print them on there if the size requirement works on the Ender because it prints perfectly every single time. And so far, uh, you know, in my experience with this machine, it's, it's there. It's there for the same price with way more. You're getting way more for barely anything. Under $200, you can get this type of print right out of the box. I mean, that's... Y'all are spoiled, <laughs> you know? So yeah, I definitely recommend this printer. This is one to check out, the Vox Lab Aquila 3D printer. I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about this printer or others, uh, shoot them in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Thank you.